Amontone was a French physicist and inventor of scientific instruments. He was born on August 31, 1663 and died on October 11, 1705. As mentioned before, he was a French physicist, therefore he lived in Paris, French. He was interested to study mathematics, the physical science, and celestial mechanics. Monton has contributed to science in many ways. He has invented and improved many scientific instrumentations such as hygrometer in 1687, barometer in 1688. He also developed an air pressure thermometer in 1702. We know that Leonardo da Vinci has discovered the laws of frictions, but he did not record them, and it was rediscovered by Amonton. Most importantly, Amonton has discovered one of the major gas laws. He had discovered if the temperature increases, the pressure increases too. Doubling the temperature of a gas doubles the pressure too, as long as the volume remains constant. The relationship between the pressure and the temperature of gas is known as Amonton's law, which is also known as Gay-Lussac's law. The equation of this law can be expressed mathematically as P over T equals K, where P is the pressure of gas, T is the temperature of the gas in kelvins, and K is the constant. For comparing the same substance under two different sets of conditions, the law can be written as P1 over T1 equals to P2 over T2, where T1 represents the initial temperature in kelvins, T2 represents the final temperature in kelvins, P1 represents the initial pressure, P2 represents the final pressure. For example, if the pressure in a container is 452 kilopascals at 260 Celsius, what will its pressure be when its temperature is 821.9 Celsius? First, the temperature must be in kelvins. This is because Kelvin scale is an absolute scale. It does not go to negative. After you have converted your temperature in kelvins, you need to rearrange the equation to find the final pressure. And finally, you just sub in the values to get your final answer. Tire pressure is affected by temperature. According to Amonton's law, higher temperature results in higher air pressure. If you live in cold climates, you may notice that the pressure in your car tire decreases as it gets colder. This is because air particles inside the tires are colder and moving slower. They don't hit the inside wall of the tire frequently. And therefore, the pressure in your car tires decreases. Another example is, putting an aerosol can in fire can cause the can to explode. This is because as the heat is applied, the particles move faster, causing them to collide with the walls of the container more often, with more force, increasing the pressure. Thank <laughs> you.